I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Oh shit, cutscene. Oh shit, here we go. We're coming back. Wow. <gasps> oh. I like that they put in the ha. Ha! This is funny to me. Is now in your hands, Sir Sonic. Okay, so I think that's. I've been doing right. I've been doing good. Yeah, Every yeah. Every different location has a different like ending, and I think that's advances the plot. Yeah. I'm just assuming. I, I mean, don't know if that's true. Yeah. Two uh, out of five stars. Perfect. Dragon's Lair. It's my favorite game. Beat the clock. Brush the before the time. Okay. Fuck it. Beat the clock. Suck the cock. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Don't stare me down after saying suck the cock. <laughs> suck the cock. Go on. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do All right. It. Fucking Crystal Castle. Let's. We'll be fine as long as we don't disturb anything. It's like, <laughs> all right, I'll put on human centipede. <laughs> no, Sonic. <laughs> what did I just say? Neat. Everybody's disturbed. <laughs> awesome. Whatever. <laughs> Fuck it. <Remember> ah! That movie was fucking stupid. Human Centipede? Yeah. Have you seen the second one? What, full sequence? Hell yeah. no, I haven't. Oh man, it is way worse. There's- there's scary movies that, like, are great and entertaining, and they're just scary movies that are fucking garbagey shit. Human Centipede is not garbagey shit. You don't think so? No, not at all. Did it scare you? The f well, the second one sort of is, a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um, but the first- yeah, the first one is fucking... Because it, they, they capture the feeling of just being, like, completely and utterly helpless so well. It is a bummer. Well, what's a scary movie that you love? That I love? But, like, is super scary. Well, I'm not really... I'm not really scared by a lot. Right. Uh... That's a hard question. Hmm. Because usually... My, God damn it, I do that every time. Uh... What about you? I, I'll have to think about it. Uh, I thought Jacob's Ladder was pretty awesome. I've never seen it. Oof. That, it's scary as shit. It was the- well, I mean, it's 25 years old already, so maybe it hasn't, like, aged... Well, I don't know, but it scared the fuck out of me when I was a kid. Actually, the- the guys who did Silent Hill... ...have said, um... ...that, uh, that Jacob's Ladder was one of their main inspirations for, like, really? how to pre pre present horror and stuff like that. Huh. There's a lot of, like, really gross, gory stuff in there that is horrifying, but it's... Do you know the story? No. It's Tim Robbins, he's in the Vietnam War, and he gets sprayed with Agent Orange, and, um... He comes back to his home, uh, after being discharged and starts seeing all these, like, demons everywhere. Wow. Uh, yeah, yeah. And I can't tell you anymore because I don't... It's a very spoily movie, like, oh, it, yeah, um, but there's like a twist and shit. Th there's there's plenty going on, but like it's uh, I, th I thought it was very, very good and very beautiful in a like horrifying dark way. Cool, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll give it a shot. I still couldn't think of one, really. Yeah, I don't know. I, Could, feel like I, I remember things that scared me, yeah. I mean, so Alien like, is technically a scary movie, but it's just fantastic, you know, yeah. Like, w w when I think of, when I think of, like, a scary movie, I think of, like, a tense movie. Like, a movie that's really good, has right. good tension. So, right. like, Alien has good tension. Yeah. I wasn't scared, but, like, I was like, ooh, I'm very tense. Yeah. Right now. Ten um, Cloverfield Lane had me in a little fucking ball the entire time. Um, I really <laughs> liked... It was great. I gotta see that. I've never seen the first Cloverfield. Ooh, I love them both. Yeah. Totally yeah. different movies, but I love them both. Um, I really liked, um... A Stir of Echoes. I don't know that one. It's a Kevin Bacon film about oh. like a girl that can see like ghosts and shit. Holy shit. It was, it was cool that like, I think it was like the first movie to do the whole like... Uh, really? I just headbutted that guy. Wow, guy. nice. Um, it had like this effect where like everything- <laughs> Price to stalactites! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it had this effect where like whenever Kevin Bacon was like... Like sort of sense danger, the whole film would just go red and go like, and it was like, whoa, whoa, intense. Yeah, it was really scary. Um, but that was like, it was tense. It wasn't scary, I guess. Uh, fuck. I don't know, man. Yeah, I can't deal with most scary movies, so it's not a long list of ones that I've seen. I think um, the ring fucking terrified me. The Japanese one. Oh yeah, the Japanese ring. Not the- the movie's whatever, but like, the ending is Ringu? so well done. Really? Yeah. 
Um, with uh, is it different with, than which, the American ending? No, it's exactly the same. It's just the way they shot it. Oh, okay. Is, is better, way better. Whoa. Um, because uh, Japanese films are a lot more like subtle. Right. Uh, I feel like the American ring was very like heavy-handed. Interesting. Yeah. Um. Oh. Oh. You know what was? It's more like. The, the things that creep me out more aren't like movies, they're like stories that you read online or something. Sure. Or, um, or even real life stories. Like, you've heard the story of the... I think she was 17, and she oh, was boy. the Japanese girl. Have you heard this one? This is real? Yes, absolutely real. Is this gonna scare me? It's just gonna bum you out. <laughs> Great! Let's do it, let's ruin everybody's day. Okay. Uh, it was a Japanese girl, she was 17, and she was kidnapped by these dudes, uh -huh. and just tortured for like 30 days. Great. Just non-stop. Yep. And, and the, the, um, the details of everything they did to her are completely- are, are available, because one of the guys was like, let off- I'll pass, I'll pass Without, that. uh, without a huge, um... Like, penalty? Yeah, because he gave them all the information. Oh, he ratted out his friends. Yeah. Shit. So Wait, it's like, it, it's literally like, day one, this is what they did to her. Day two, this is what they did to everyone her. Everyone got caught? Yes. Good. Yeah. Um, did she live? The fuck no. Oh! But, I mean, she lived for, like, that long. Oh, it's like, terrible. Jesus. And I think, um... I honestly think that, uh... Lisa Trevor from Resident Evil is uh -huh. based on that story. Really? Yeah. Um, I don't know who Lisa Trevor is. So she was is in- Is that Mila was... Yovovich? Yo 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 <laughs> Mila Yo Yo Vavavovich? No. No, 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 not in the movie. Oh. The, the, the game, Resident oh. Evil. She was supposed to be in the first game, if I remember correctly, but there wasn't enough time or something, so they, they put her in the remake. Um... Is this story from a long time ago? The kidnapping? Yeah. Uh, like the 90s, maybe? There's wow. like pictures and stuff of it, too. Gross, I'll pass. Thanks. Um, yeah. Uh, but anyway. So, Lisa Trevor's like my favorite video game thing ever. Um... You know, Resident Evil is all about like making viruses and stuff, and then they like infecting a bunch of people and turning them into zombies. Right. So when they were experimenting with like the pro God fucking damn it, dude. Jesus. When they were experimenting with like the proto virus, mm -hmm. um, they kept making like different iterations of it, and they were injecting it on patients. What the fuck, man? This fucking game sucks, <laughs> dick. <laughs> You're running out of time, dude. Um, they were they were injecting it on patients, and most of them were. <sighs> Most of them were dying. God fucking de fuck this stupid shit! They were infecting patients, <laughs> and uh, all of them were dying except Lisa Trevor. Mm. Lisa Trevor survived every single injection that right. they could possibly give her. Right. And, she, and by the end, she was still alive, and she was just this horrifying mess. And, and she was just like, um, she had like memories of her family and shit. Would you stop it with that? There's no way for me to survive when you're fucking doing that stupid bullshit. And this is so fucking dumb. <laughs> so she searches around <laughs> for like her mom and her dad and her family, but they're all dead because they were experimented on and couldn't take the stuff. So uh, she ends up like taking their faces and like sewing them on her. Oh shit. And she's just this monster who can't die and she chases you through like. Once you get, like, 30% through the game, she just chases you around. Resident and Evil sounds fun. It is. I've never played that. I adore that game. It's the first one? It's the very first Resident yeah. Evil? Because the first Resident Evil is, like, okay. But, um, the remake, they remade it with, like, better graphics for the GameCube. Um, and way better game design. And mm. it's fucking awesome. It's, like, really? a legend. Wow. It's, it's so good. And, and what if you what if you play this section super slow and let the stuff fall away before you try to jump over it? Well, it's not that. It's that 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 part I was like stuck on it because those guys were like knocking me off with their shields. Oh. I couldn't get past them. I, I could tr I could try. I don't want to. Oh. Fuck. Yes. I don't want to. There you go. You did it. That wasn't it though. Oh damn. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would love to. I played Resident Evil the first one with John, but he wasn't into it, so we stopped. Mm. But I'd love to play it again. I mean, shit. Maybe, maybe this Halloween. Oh shit! Yeah, that'd be fun. Ghoul Grumps. Go a little Ghoul Grump action. I, I. I mean, it's not that. Halloween's not that far off. August, September, October. I kind of want to. Okay, uh, all right, people at home. What do you, what would you like to see if we did a Resident Evil remake version? So, would you like to see just a straight playthrough, or? There is a glitch that I can do that will allow me to have infinite rocket launcher rounds. Whoa. And it makes the game kind of hilarious and way easier. 
That sounds like fun to me. Yeah. So, Personally. Um... Let, let us know. I feel like if our audience is down with Macho Man, Randy Savage, Dragons, and Skyrim, they're pretty much up for anything. <laughs> well, it's just- it's just sort of like, kills all the tension, you know? Right. There, there's- there's really no way that you would die if you had a fucking infinite rocket launcher. I'm cool with launcher. that. Um, and- and, you know, some of the comedy com comes from the tension, like, Dark Souls, like, when I'm having a hard time, is hilarious. So... I don't know. Let me know what you think on Twitter, because I don't check YouTube comments. Right. Um... Mine are herp-derped. <laughs> that's a good- that's a good thing. It's the best Chrome I, extension I, ever. I literally haven't scrolled down to comments in, like, two years. It's a nightmare. <laughs> it's, yeah. I'm sure there are plenty of nice people in there. Oh, of course. But it's like looking for a rose in a thorn bush. Yeah. It's like, how would I like to make myself feel bad today? <laughs> Great idea. It's like trying to find a sandwich in, like, thousands of syringes. That being said, please continue to comment, <laughs> and like, and subscribe. Well, I don't think it has anything to do with, like, well, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, go ahead and comment. Yeah, have there's, there's more reasons than for us reading them for you to comment, so. For sure. Uh, okay. Yeah! Here we go, baby! Wait, this again? I thought we were past all this. I died. Oh. I had to restart the entire level. Well, next time on Game Rooms. Oh, okay. See ya! That was an unexpectedly dark episode. <laughs> Let's get happy now.